Hi, this is Kat and today I have for the first time in this channel these red heels. I really really like these heels and as you can see the soles are a bit worn. Yeah, check here. Yeah, a little bit worn and they're 100% leather and I'm so excited to get them shine. Today I'm with Francisco and I'm going to get a heel shine. Okay, so let's get a heel shine. Yeah. Hola Francisco, buenos días, ¿cómo estás? Hola, ¿Qué tal? Eh, ¿Cuánto me cobra por estas zapatillas? 20 pesos. ¿20? Ok, va, gracias. Sí.
Muchas gracias Francisco, cuídese, hasta no, luego, hasta bye. Luego. Let me show you the amazing, amazing result on these red hills. I really, really, really like how they look so shiny and red and vibrant. And to be honest, I really, really like this like model of shoe. I don't know what brand this is, but it's size uh, 5 Mexico. I think that's 8 US and 38 Europe. Yeah, the brand, I mean, they're very old, so I can't see the name of the brand. And as you can see here, it says 100% leather, number five. Yeah, um, I'm really, really happy with the result. Well, in the description, you can find the location of Francisco Shushenstan. Also, my Instagram account, in case you want to follow me. My PayPal account, if you want to contribute some shoes or boots to this channel. 
my Patreon where I'll be uploading more extra content and behind the cameras and stuff like that. Thank you so much to my patrons for all the support. It really means a lot to me. Well, I hope you like this video. Subscribe, thumbs up, and see you in the next video. Bye! I want to show you the park and the Christmas decorations. So, I'm filming this video in like three days before Christmas. So, that's the reason why there are Christmas decorations. But I don't think it's going to be Christmas, but it, you know, like I don't think the video will be released in Christmas. So, yeah, this is the Nacimiento. It's basically like a place where you put the baby Jesus. And, but this is kind of abstract, I guess, you know, like more artsy. I don't know. And you can see here, you know, with lights. Here. Hi, this is Kat, and today I have again these Dr. Martin boots. I'm with El Buki, and I'm going to get a boot shine. As you can see, they're not so, so dirty, but yeah, they will always, always, always need some shine. So let me show you the socks I'm wearing. There are some red socks that I especially wore for the video. And I'm just so excited to show you this shoe shine in a very, like, kind of quiet street in Mexico City. Okay, so let's get a boot shine. Yeah. Hola, buenos días. ¿Cómo estás, yes. Buki? Bien, gracias Bien. aquí trabajando. Ah, qué bueno. Eh, ¿Cuánto me cobra por estas botas? Te voy a cobrar 30 pesos. ¿30? Va, gracias. A ver.
Muchas gracias, Buki. Cuídense mucho. Hasta luego. Bye. ¿Cómo está? ¿Qué tal? Bien, gracias. Hace Aquí. mucho tiempo que no lo, que no lo veo. Pues ahí andamos, sí. igual como siempre. Y ahora, con lo que pasó en la Polar, ¿en qué área va a estar trabajando? Bueno, pues ahorita, mientras, este, pues aquí me conocen, llevo 37 años en eh, uh -huh. la boleada aquí en la colonia de San Rafael. Pues por el momento, pues yo voy a seguir, a, seguir trabajando en la colonia, uh -huh. porque tengo gente que me conoce. Entonces, pues por mi parte no salí tan perjudicado. Uh -huh. Qué bueno, Los la verdad. Los que sí realmente, pues salieron perjudicados los que trabajaban este, en la empresa, pues yo nomás era bolero, entonces pues yo tengo trabajo igual aquí. Ah, qué bueno. Pues, sí, vamos a seguirle, seguir trabajando, que ya no es en la Polar, porque la Polar ya sí. no creo que, que abran por el, por el problema que, que hicieron allá, no creo que por eso ahora sí que lo dejen, lo, lo vuelvan a abrir la puerta de la Polar. Sí. Yo pienso que, pues este, eh, pues, los van a tener que, que castigar todos y pues muchos trabajadores como 150 trabajadores fácil así te digo Bastante. van a salir perjudicados sí. pero pues hay que esperar ya el tiempo lo dirá y entonces va a trabajar aquí en la San Rafael y en la Santa María este más en San Rafael más en San Rafael sí, okay. San Rafael es donde estoy okay. porque en Santa María de la Ribera más son unos cuantos personas que me llegan a pedir la ah que la ya boleada. lo conocen de tiempo Ajá. sí y voy a hacer ahí dos tres boleadas que uh -huh. paso a Santa María de la Ribera pero en sí el trabajo es aquí en San Rafael ah, 37 bien. años trabajando aquí pues aquí Aquí le sigo. Ah, qué bueno. Y, y por, por aquí nos, nos estaremos viendo. Okay. ¿Y por qué área se va a poner más? ¿Hay como algún negocio en el que se va a poner afuera o solo va a estar caminando? A... Sí, estoy en el, este, en el Sol de México. Ah, ajá. El Sol de... El que está sí, aquí por Bucarel. Ajá. ajá. Sí, las oficinas del Sol. Ahí estamos y, y pues también tengo muchos clientes así regados. Eh, todo, en toda la colonia San Rafael uh -huh. también en el mercado San Cosme también tengo mucha gente ah, conocida qué bueno, eh, sí. que ya tenemos tiempo que los conozco y me conocen bueno pues aquí el trabajo sigue uh -huh. sigue adelante vamos a seguir uh -huh. trabajando ¿y usted diría que la mayoría de sus clientes son hombres o mujeres? Este, tengo, la mayoría son hombres, uh -huh. la mayoría son hombres, pero también hay mujeres que se volean. Ah, qué bueno. Sí, son pocas, pero este, sí hay, sí, como no, sí tengo clientes mujeres. Entonces, ¿usted cree que el número de clientes mujeres ha incrementado con, con los años? Ha incrementado uh -huh. y también en las oficinas, uh -huh. porque antes trabajaban pocas mujeres. Oh, eso sí. Y ahora trabajan más por la situación de, económica de uh -huh. todo, ¿no? Sí ha habido más mujeres. Ah, qué bueno. ¿Y, este, ¿Y usted recuerda su primera boleada? Sí. ¿Sí? Sí, cómo no. Me acuerdo, la primera boleada fue que hice, fue en, este, en, en Alfonso Herrera, uh -huh. Alfonso Herrera y, y Gabino Barrera. Uh -huh. Ahí fue mi primer boleada en la mera esquina, Ajá. que ahora ya es una tienda. Antes era, era, era una tienda de tuberías PVC. Oh, ok. Ajá. Ajá. Era una tienda grandecita. De, en la mera esquina estaba. Ahí iba pasando yo y, este, y me preguntó una persona de, del dueño del, de la tienda que si le daba grasa. Le digo, sí, sí, este, nada más que te voy a decir que la verdad yo no sé bolear. No sé bolear, traigo le, el equipo todo, sí le hace herramientas para trabajar, pero no sé bolear. Eh, voy a aprender, voy aprendiendo, entonces quiero que me vayas diciendo cómo, cómo, este, cómo, cómo voy a hacer para, para bolear. Ah, dice, sí, yo te digo, yo te digo, yo te voy diciendo, ese, boleame los zapatos, yo te voy diciendo de eso. Ah, no qué te buena onda. Y ahí fue mi primer boleada, que yo agarré el cajón, no sabía ni nada, ¿no? Pero este, los, las mismas, los mismos clientes me fueron diciendo cómo y fui aprendiendo, fui aprendiendo y vas agarrando experiencia y hasta ahorita estoy aquí. Sí. Ese estamos hablando en el, como por el 85. Ah, no. Y por ejemplo, ¿cuál era el costo por boleada en ese entonces? En ese entonces era este, 50 centavos. Sí. ¿Y, ¿Y qué podías comprar con 50 centavos en ese entonces? No, pues 50 centavos, la verdad, pues este... Pues ahora sí que... Pues, ¿Una torta o...? 
No, pues yo creo que no alcanzaba. No alcanzaba. No alcanzaba, pero, pero sí, sí rendía más. Uh -huh. Rendía más. Sí, me acuerdo que fueron, este, eran 50 centavos, de ahí le subimos a un peso. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y de ahí, pues, este, fue aumentando poco a poquito. Después fueron tres pesos, ¿sí? Cuando valía el dólar tres pesos, sí. yo a veces me ofrecían un dólar en la boleada. Y así fue, así fue, este, fue aumentando, aumentando. Y pues creo que vamos igual con el dólar, porque ahorita normalmente, pues, este... Estamos hablando de 30 pesos a 25, depende como esté el zapato, ¿no? Sí. Ajá. Y el dólar también ya anda en eso como en 22, Hoy, creo. Creo que bajó un poco bajó. a 18, pero pues 20 pesos. Pero creo que ya le había llegado hasta como los 24, creo, o 25, no me acuerdo. Entonces creo que vamos así, como que no, no me he colgado tado, tanto uh -huh. o, no, o no me he dejado, o sea... Como que te vas, vas calculándole cómo van subiendo las cosas y vas aumentando. Vas a... Sí. Pues ahorita está de 25 a 30 a una boleada, eh, que ya estamos a este 2023 uh -huh. para el 85 de allá para acá. Pues sí ha subido. Sí. Ha subido como todo ha incrementado. ¿Y, y ahorita cuál es el horario de trabajo que tiene en esta zona? Pues ahorita el horario es a las 9. Uh -huh. Es a las 9 hasta las 8 de la noche. Oh, ok. Casi Ahora todo el día. Ahora ya trabajas más. Antes trabajaba de, de 9 a, pues a 5 o 6 de la tarde ya me iba. Pero, este, aparte de eso, de que por día te haces los clientes, hay más clientes en la tarde. Uh -huh. Entonces, aumenté un, unas cuantas horas. Y, pues, ahorita se trabaja de, de 9 a 8. ¿Y de lunes a...? Es de lunes a sábado. A sábados, sí, ok. igual, el mismo horario. Eh, los domingos, pues, descansamos un ah, día qué bueno. en la semana. Y, por ejemplo, ¿usted cree que la mayoría de las personas de sus clientes son personas de oficinas o como ya clientes frecuentes de años? Eh, tengo varias personas que son de oficina, uh -huh. de todo como de oficina y como de así de en, en ferreterías, uh -huh. en farmacia, en un puesto de, de frutas, comerciantes, uh -huh. todos ellos. Pero usted cree que son personas eh, como de la med adultos grandes o jóvenes también. ¿Tiene jóvenes? Pues este sí, hay chavos que se volean de. Uh -huh. Estamos hablando de ya arriba de pues de 15 años, uno que otro chavo ah, se bueno. volea. O limpieza y... de tenis o así, o Mande. también limpieza de tenis, hace limpieza de tenis. Si es de piel, sí. Ah, sí, ah. sí es de piel, sí. Este, también los tenis se eh, puede bolear si son negros y si son blancos, pero es piel, se lava con jabón de calabaza y queda bien. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. Y este, normalmente este, pues lo que se hace aquí en la boleada pues es puro zapato de piel, uh -huh. puro de piel. Entonces, no importa que sea tenis, pero siendo de piel, sí se puede volar. Si son negros, se volea. Y si son blancos, pues se lava nada más. Mm -hmm. Y si ya está muy raspado el, 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 los tenis, ya están raspaditos así en la pintura, entonces tiene que mandar a pintar para que quede bien, porque ya con la lavada no queda. Oh, bueno. Y, por ejemplo, una pregunta que casi siempre me hacen en el, en el canal es, eh, si usted, eh, porque muchos... Dicen, ah, pues la bolea, ¿cuánto cuesta? 30 pesos, ¿no? Que Ajá. sería como un dólar y medio, más o menos, más o menos, Más ¿no? o menos. Y eso es por boleada, ¿no? Sí. Y mucha gente me pregunta si las boleadas que usted genera, que hacen un día, son suficientes para vivir. Este, pues ya te estoy hablando un promedio de, de 20 boleadas, <risa> pues ya más o menos, porque ya es un sueldo. Sí. Ya estamos hablando en promedio de 500 pesos al día. Al día. Ajá, sí, esa es la más mínima. Pero pues no todos los días son iguales, ¿no? No, tiene altas y bajas. Como puedo ser 20 boleadas, como puedo ser 35, o, o, este, o hasta más, o, o rebaso los, los 40. Ajá. Pero normalmente el muy, muy, este, así, por mucho es de 40 boleadas. Ajá. Sí, hoy 40 boleadas y de 20 a 40. Sabarea. De ahí de 20 a 40. Varea. Qué bueno, qué bueno que sí. Pero, eh... 
pero sí, ya es un sueldo que no me los paga a ninguna parte en, un, en una empresa. Sí, eso tiene y por razón. Por eso prefiero traer el cajón, porque aquí voy a comer la hora que yo quiera. Y descanso o me tomo un refresco en una tienda a la hora que yo quiera. Y si yo me pongo a trabajar en una empresa, pues no, no, me, los, no me los pagan y luego tienes que estar el horario. Eh, este el horario de, de trabajo uh -huh. sin que te puedas a, desocupar un rato sí. y por eso no, no me gusta prefiero trabajar independiente sí. de mí mismo sí me han invitado a trabajos pero eh, no los agarro porque yo ya me acomodé aquí de años uh -huh. si yo me en un trabajo pues como si estuviera yo encadenado los pies que pues la verdad no me voy a hallar sí. así es sí eso sí Ah, pues qué bueno que le va bien, que a pesar de que la Polar haya cerrado, pues todavía tiene bastante trabajo, qué bueno. Porque sí, justo cuando vi la noticia, dije, dije, toda la gente que trabaja ahí, también pensé en usted, dije, porque pues ahí ya tenía eh, a los eh, mariachis ya ahí de, de cajón, ¿no? Como clientes y a sí. las personas que iban, entonces, eso era mi pregunta, como de qué tanto había cambiado, pero qué bueno que todavía tiene bastante trabajo. Sí. Sí, ahí la llevo. Sí. Que sí, perdí gente ahí, porque ahí es de 11 a 3 de la tarde. Uh -huh. Era uno tras otro que no me dejaban respirar. <risa> sí, ah, recuerdo. Sí, y tenía, aparte los sueltos, como 3, 4 pares. Uh -huh. Se me juntaba, que no los boleaba porque sí, iba, seguían pasando, seguían pasando. Sí. Entonces tenía que, que darles gracias a los que llegan y se ponen, los boleaba. Y los que me daban suelto, pues les entregaba ya hasta el último. Uh -huh. Pero sí, siempre había trabajo. Que sí, sí, la verdad sí me ocupaba muy bien ahí, pero este, pues aquí sigo, aquí sigo. Como uh -huh. la gente me conoce, sí, de lo que perdía el tiempo, bueno, de lo que me ocupaba ya, pues ahorita me estoy ocupando en este lado. Uh -huh. O sea, sigo trabajando. Qué bueno, uh -huh. sí. Sí, ahí la llevo. Oh, bueno, muchas gracias por su tiempo y por todas las boleadas del día de hoy. Sí. Cuídese, por aquí nos estamos viendo. Sí, cuídese mucho. Nos vemos. Hasta Igualmente. luego. Adiós. Bye. Let me show you the amazing, amazing result on these boots. I think they're looking so shiny. And yeah, I'm so happy with the result. It's been so long since I filmed a video with El Buki. And I was just so excited to, you know, have him in the channel again. Um, La Polar, the place where he used to work, is closed now. So you're gonna find more information about where he's gonna be working in the interview part. Well, in the description you can find the location of the area where El Buki works now. Also my Instagram account in case you want to follow me, my PayPal account if you want to contribute some shoes or boots to this channel, I promise I'll fix these boots soon. And my Patreon where I'll be uploading more extra content and behind the cameras and what happens when I film a video. Well, I hope you like this video, subscribe, thumbs up, and see you in the next video. Bye, let me know what you think about these boots. I like the combination of these trousers and the red socks. Yeah, well, take care, bye. Gracias, cuídense mucho, hasta luego, bye. Hasta luego, nos vemos, cuídese, bye. This is the very famous recording in Mexico City. So I want to show you the church where I film most of the shoeshine videos. Yeah. San Rafael Church and it's closed now. I think it only opens for a special occasion. So this is the area where El Buki works. As you can see, it's very residential. It's kind of close to the center, but yeah, very residential, nice. I mean, it's kind of quiet. It's not as noisy as other areas. Um, yeah, he told me he is going to be working around this area in Santa Maria La Rivera. So if you want to get the shoe shine, you can Come to the area and yeah, get a shoe shine with a bookie. Uh, as you can see, this neighborhood has some pretty like tall trees. And yeah, I kind of like this neighborhood. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. Well, this is just like a little mini tour. Take care. Bye.
Hi, this is Kat and today I have for the first time in this channel these Dr. Martin boots or Doc Martens and these boots are not mine these are my friends uh, Fernanda so Fer, thank you so much for lending me these shoes she gave me these boots <laughs> a while ago, yeah but I just had a chance to come and visit Machine Man who I know can make a great job on these boots as you can see, you can still see the yellow stitch yeah, they're really really beautiful boots and I'm looking forward to its transformation um, as you can see, the brand is Dr. Martens. Have a look at the soles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm excited to get the boot shine. Okay, so let's get a boot shine. Yeah, as you can see, I had to pull up my pants all the way here so you can see the boots. And they're so dirty. I mean, my pants. Well, maybe my pants are full of cat hair. But no, the boots are so dirty, so, so, so dirty. Yeah, you can see. <laughs> they need a, like a really, really good transformation. Okay, so let's get a boot shine. Yeah. Hola, Machine Man. Buenas tardes, ¿cómo está? ¿Cuánto me cobra por estas botas? 80. Ok, va, gracias.
Buenos días, Tito. Gracias, Mashima. Cuídense. Hasta luego. Bye. Let me show you the amazing, amazing transformation on these boots. As you can see, they're looking a little bit darker, but I think it's because it's still a little bit wet, so the leather is like moisturizing or something like that. I don't know how to say it in English, to be honest. But yeah, it's absorbing all that like grease, you know, to to look alive again so yeah um, I'm really happy with the result they're looking so 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 much better and I think Fer is going to be so happy to wear them again well in the description you can find the location of Machine Man Stand also my Instagram account in case you want to follow me my PayPal account if you want to contribute some shoes or boots to this channel my Patreon where I'll be uploading more extra content and behind the cameras and you know you will see the behind the cameras of a filming day with, the, with Machine Man. Yeah, I hope you like it. And thank you so much to my patrons. Well, I hope you like this video. Subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Until the next video. Bye. You can see that the yellow stitch looks so good. Yeah, I'm in love with these boots. Okay, take care. Bye.
Hi, this is Kat and today I have for the first time in this channel this platform open hills. To be honest, I don't really know the name of this in English, of this style of hills, but if you know, let me know in the comment section, please. And today I'm with El Buki and about to get a hill shine. Okay, so let's get a hill shine. Yeah. Oh, I like this look. Yeah. It's kind of hard to walk on this, I have to say, at least on this, like, you know, sidewalk. <laughs> I hope I don't fall. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Buenas tardes. ¿Cuánto me cura por estas zapatillas? 30. Pesos. ¿30? Ok, va. Gracias.
Muchas gracias, cuídense. Hasta luego. Bye. Gracias. Let me show you the amazing, amazing result on these heels. I think they're looking so shiny. And yeah, I'm so happy with the result because um, it's the first time I get them shine for the channel. And I think in general. So yeah, I'm happy. I can see myself in, like if it was a mirror and yeah i'm just so happy in the description you can find the location of the area where bookie works also my instagram account in case you want to follow me my paypal account if you want to contribute some shoes or heels to this channel and my patreon where i'll be uploading more extra content and behind the cameras thank you so much to my patrons it really means a lot to me all the support i'm getting there so thank you so much well, I hope you like this video. Subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs up, and see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah, I like that. I can see even like the reflection of the camera here. <laughs> well, take care. Bye. Also, the soles for these ones. Yeah, they look okay. Yeah, so much better. And it says synthetic. So, I think the brand of these shoes is. Ma Mariola, Mariola, yeah, I have no idea what brand this is, but it's number five and a half. I think they fit pretty well. Can you believe this is winter in Mexico City? I think it's 25th of, yeah, of January. And the temperature is probably like 70 or something, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, that's like 23, I think. Celsius and yeah, it's so sunny and hot and yeah, I'm enjoying this winter. <laughs> this street seems to be like very um, noisy. Uh, maybe that connects, I'm thinking it connects this part like Avenida de San Cosme with um, Reforma Street, which is over there. Yeah, so over there is Polanco, over there is Reforma, yeah. Okay, take care. Bye. Hi, this is Kat and today I have for the first time in this channel these red shoes. They're looking a bit, you know, dirty and they look kind of vintage style. As you can see, their tips look you know, dirty and scratch over there, yeah. And um, you can see now that I have a tan line here, like from wearing <laughs> sandals in the summer. It's been like, I don't know, four months, five months, four months maybe, like, like you know, since summer, and I still can't get rid of the tan lines. So you're gonna see, you know, here, you know. <laughs> I don't know if you can actually see it in the video, but I can see the timelines, but anyway, let me show you the soles. The soles look a bit worn, as you can see here, and it says 100% leather made in Mexico. I don't know what the brand is. I can't read the brand name on the shoes, but the number is 5 Mexico, 8 US, and I think that's 38 Europe. And today I'm with Machine Man, and I'm going to get a... Hmm, shoe shine, heel shine. I don't know, would these be considered as heels? I guess, yeah, right? <laughs> I guess, yeah. Um, okay, so let's get a heel shine, yeah. I think these are actually called pumps. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, something like that. Hola, Machine Man, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Buenas tardes. ¿Cuánto me cobra por estas zapatillas? 70. Ok, va, gracias.
Estamos y te regresamos. Te regresamos el día 3. El día 3, sí. En la noche, por favor. El 15, te regresamos el 13 en la noche. Te regresamos el 15 por la tarde. No, tempranito, porque no quedas. No hay más que 15 años que no vas a poder operar. Sí, sí. ¿No? Tendría un papel y se van a quedarse en el tiempo. Sí, 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 sí. Muchas gracias, Mashima. Cuídense. Hasta luego. Bye. Let me show you the amazing, amazing result on these red hills. You can see that they look so bright and shiny and they don't have those like black marks and yeah, I'm really happy with the resort. Have a look at this. They're looking so, so, so red and the color looks so vibrant and yeah, I couldn't be happier. Well, in the description you can find the location of Machine Man Stand, also my Instagram account in case you want to follow me my paypal account if you want to contribute some shoes or heels to this channel and my patreon where i'll be uploading more extra content and behind the camera so thank you so much to my patrons it means a lot to me so thank you well i hope you like this video subscribe thumbs up bye. thumbs up and see you in the next video bye Hola, soy Kat y hoy tengo por primera vez en este canal estas botas Chelsea. Como puedes ver, es la primera vez que las muestro. Ve la suela. Tararán. Puedes ver que ya las he usado varias veces y el número es 5 México, 38 Europa y 8 Estados Unidos, creo. Como puedes ver, tengo <ríe> unos calcetines muy especiales, sí. Son eh, de la obra de El Beso, de Gustavo Klim. Y puedes ver que ya he usado estas botas varias veces, entonces ya están listas para un lustrado de calzado. Ok, so let's get... Eh, Good time. Yeah. Hola, buenas tardes, señor Miguel. ¿Cómo está? ¿Qué tal? Bien, buenas, tardes. buenas tardes. ¿Cuánto me cobra por estas botas? 30. 30. Va, gracias. A ver, por acá, ¿verdad? Así por acá.
bola pues. Sí, Muchas gracias, Miguel. Gracias, hasta luego. Bye. Let me show you the amazing, amazing result on these Chelsea boots. They're looking so, so, so shiny. Look at the tips. It's just like I can even see <laughs> the reflection in the tip of the shoes. I really, really like the work that Miguel did on these boots because he took the time to carefully clean the soles and the sides. And yeah, you can't see any trace of dust left. So I'm happy with the result and I really like this combination. It looks like I'm ready for, a, for an office meeting now. <laughs> well, in the description you can find the location of Miguel San. Also my Instagram account in case you want to follow me. My PayPal account if you want to contribute some shoes or boots to this channel. My Patreon where I'll be uploading more extra content and behind the camera. So thank you so much to my patrons. It really means a lot to me that we are creating this amazing community. Well, I hope you like this video. Subscribe, thumbs up, and see you in the next video. <laughs> thumbs up, and see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah. Hi, this is Kat and today I have for the first time in this channel these nude color high heels. The brand of these high heels is Andrea and the number is four and a half. I think that is seven and a half or seven US, something like that. And today I'm with El Buki and I'm going to get a heel shine. As you can see, they're, they're so dirty and they're gonna need some wax and you know, let me show you the soles. The soles look not so much warm, but you know, they will definitely, definitely, definitely need some cleaning. And these are very tall, so you, you can see that my feet are like, ah, you know, like trying to survive on the height of these hills. I think these are pretty much the same um, design as the black hills that I have a video, um, you know, with fire high hills. I think it's pretty much the same design, but yeah. Okay, so let's get a hill shine. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Buenas Hola, tardes. Buenas tardes. ¿Cómo está? ¿Cuánto me cuela por estas zapatillas? 30. 30. Ok, va. Gracias.
Muchas gracias. Sí, Cuídense. Bien, Hasta luego. Gracias. Bye. Let me show you the amazing result on these heels. I think they're looking so much cleaner. And yeah, el Buki took the time to carefully clean them and apply some wax. And yeah, maybe next time I'll get them paint. But I think they're looking already so, so, so much better. Well, in the description you can find the location of well, the area where El Buki works. Also my Instagram account in case you want to follow me, my PayPal account if you want to contribute some shoes or heels to this channel, my Patreon where I'll be uploading more extra content and behind the cameras. Thank you so much to my patrons, it really means a lot to me that we are creating this amazing community. Um, well, I hope you like this video, subscribe, thumbs up and see you in the next video. Bye! I hope you like this heel shine. Let me know in the comments what you think about this and if you would like to have some heels like this. Okay, take care. Bye! I want to show you the soles like more closely. Yeah, um, such beautiful heels. I want to show you another part of the neighborhood where El Buki works. So he used to work in La Polar, which is kind of like here and over there, like very close to the circuito. And now he moves around, you know, the neighborhood. And um, one of the few times I've been in this neighborhood, but I kind of like it. It is really nice and quiet and it feels very residential. And I like these like intersections because you have like the corner, but like cut corner. In Spanish is esquinas o chavadas, which would be like the shape of an octagon, like eight side, um, you know, like shape. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know geometry in English, actually. Um, <laughs> I learned a lot of things in Spanish, but other things in English. And yeah, sometimes it's kind of hard to find the words. But yeah, let me show you this building. It looks really very old, maybe 20th century, the start of the 20th century. Yeah. Well, take care. Bye. Hi, this is Kat, and today I have, for the first time in this channel, this like beige or like light brown boots. These are not my boots. These are my friends, Fernanda. So, Fer, thank you so much for lending me these shoes. And I'm just so excited to get them shine. I really, really like the big platform and the color. I don't know the name of the brand, but have a look at the sole. The sole, yeah, it looks a bit dirty. But yeah, I don't know what brand this is. But the number is 5 Mexico, 38 Europe, and I think that's 8 US. So we're pretty much the same size. So I was like, fair, I'm going to take your boots to get them shine. Okay, so let's get it. Boot shine, yeah, boot shine. Hola, Machine Man, ¿cómo estás? ¿Qué tal? Eh, ¿Cuánto me cobra por estas botas? Eso 70. ¿70? Ok, va, gracias. Thank you.
Toñito, Toñito, ¿qué tal? Let me show you the amazing, amazing result on these woods. Have a look at this. Machine man took the time to carefully clean them and clean the, the soles, the, this part, and apply some products to take care of the leather. And yeah, I'm just so happy with the result. <laughs> They're looking so, 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 so clean. I told my friend there that I was going to get her boots clean. And I think, and I think machine man did an amazing job. Yeah, have a look at this and that, yeah. I feel very like uh, 80s, 90s, I don't know, with these boots and these like trousers like this, like baggy trousers. I don't know what's the name in, in English, but in Spanish we call it pantalones acampanados because it's like a bell, you know, like a, like a church bell, like that. Well, in the description you can find the location of Machine Man also my Instagram account in case you want to follow me, my PayPal account if you want to contribute some shoes or boots to this channel, my Patreon where I'll be uploading more extra content and behind the cameras. Thank you so much to my Patreon for all the support. Well, I hope you like this video. Subscribe, thumbs up, and see you in the next video. Bye. Hi, this is Kat and today I have for the first time in this channel these brown boots with heels. The brand of these shoes is Andrea, it's an affordable Mexican brand, I think it's Mexican, Mexican brand, you know, with, um, that's been on the market for so many years and it has some very nice quality shoes. The size of these shoes is 24 Mexico or 4 Mexico, 37 Europe or seven US. You know, sometimes shoe size can vary, so you have to actually try them on to see if they fit you or not. And in this case, well, number four fit me. I bought them on the second hand shop. These are not my style of boots, you know, it's not something that I would normally wear, but when I saw them, I, I thought it would be very, very good for the channel. It has some laces here and yeah, it kind of looks vintage actually. I kind of like it. It kind of reminded me of a Renaissance uh, style. And yeah, I decided to get them. And you will be able to see the difference because these are kind of old and scratch and, and kind of dusty. Let me show you the soles. Just, the soles look a little bit worn and you can see here the information made in Mexico. So today I'm with Francisco and I'm going to get a boot shine. Okay, so let's get a boot shine. Yeah, boot shine. Hola Francisco, ¿qué Hola, tal? ¿Cómo está? ¿Cuánto me cobro por estas botas? Gracias.
Muchas gracias Francisco, cuídense, hasta luego. Let me show you the amazing, amazing result on these brown boots. I think Francisco did an amazing job at cleaning them and applying some brown paint and brown grease. And yeah, I think you can actually see the transformation of these shoes. Let me know in the comment sections what you think about this boot shine and if you would like to get the boot shine with Francisco. Yeah, have a look at this. Uh, I think they look so much vibrant and they look so, so, so much better. Um, I, I would say if you sold these shoes in a second hand shop, you could probably get more money if they look like this, you know, like really shiny. Well, in the description, you can find the location of Francisco Shushan stand. Also my Instagram account in case you want to follow me, my PayPal account if you want to contribute some shoes or boots to this channel, and my Patreon where I'll be uploading more extra content and behind the cameras and what happens, you know, before and after I film a shoe shine video, you know, what's going on around it and more shoe related content. Well, I hope you like this video. Subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up thumbs up <laughs> and see you in the next video bye thank you so much for watching and for all the support and all the nice comments it really means a lot to me that the channel is growing and uh, let me know if you have more ideas for the channel i'll be so happy to hear them okay bye this hairless dog native from mexico i think it was believed that these dogs will guide you to the um, afterlife um 
I really like the, that type of dog. Yeah, I think it's really beautiful, and they're very gentle and kind and loyal. Well, I guess all dogs are loyal, right? Um, have a look at the ice cream. It's kind of hard for me to walk right now because I'm carrying a backpack and a bag full of shoes. So I'm trying to walk slowly. So, you know, the video is not bumpy. There's another fountain here and it's not working now. Such a shame. I think there's something going on in front of the gazebo. I don't know what's going on, but I see a police officer and oh okay I see now graduation pictures Mira <laughs> decir hola Hi, this is Kat and today I have for the first time in this channel these black leather heels. As you can see it has a bit of a metal gold tip here and also here and yeah they're really really nice. They have another like metal bit over there and they are so 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 tall. <laughs> It's kind of hard to walk on them, but I mean, they look amazing. The brand of these shoes is Andrea and the number is four and a half. You know, sometimes shoe size can vary depending on the height and the brand and everything. So the brand Andrea is a very, um, I think it's Mexican, a very affordable Mexican brand and it has some really nice heels, as you can see here. So let's get a heel shine. Yeah, heel shine. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Hola, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. ¿Cuánto me cobra por estas zapatillas? 30 pesos. ¿30? Ok, va. Gracias.
Muchas gracias. Cuídense. Hasta luego. Bye. Let me show you the amazing, amazing result on these very tall black leather heels. I think Epuki did an amazing job at cleaning them and shining them. And yeah, they're looking so, so, so much better now. They're very tall, so imagine I was filming the video and putting one foot on the shoebox and the other one on the ground, so I had to, you know, keep balance and, you know, <laughs> so I didn't hurt myself. Um, so I didn't hurt my, myself, but yeah, it was very, um, quite a challenge. Well, in the description you can find the location of El Buki area, the area where he works now. Also, my Instagram account in case you want to follow me, my PayPal account if you want to contribute some shoes or heels to this channel, and my Patreon where I'll be uploading more extra content and behind the camera. So thank you so much to my patrons. It really means a lot to me that we're creating this amazing community. Well, I hope you like this video. Subscribe, thumbs up, and see you in the next video. Bye. I want to show you also the soles of these heels. As you can see, it has shiny. And yeah, they're kind of worn now. Uh, yeah. Very tall, very tall heels. I want to show you the area where El Buki works. This is the church. In front of the church is where we film many of the Shushan videos. And yeah, he doesn't work in La Polar anymore because there was like a conflict you know um, something that was from the news something very sad and it's closed now so I was kind of worried that he will lose a lot of his like regular clients like regular customers but I'm glad to hear that he found you know more customers after that so he's not working in front of La Polar La Polar is closed now and I don't think they're gonna open it anymore so I wanted to show you a bit of this area and yeah so many trees i like trees you know on streets and i like you know walking in very quiet neighborhoods like this one um I, i've been here a couple of times you know to visit el buki in la polar but this is a new part of the neighborhood i'm seeing now um, Yeah, kind of quiet. Feels very residential, actually. Uh, yeah. Well, take care and bye. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like I don't know what happened to me today. I think I need like, another coffee. Yeah. I wasn't that chatty. I don't know. Sometimes you're just chatty and sometimes you're not. But yeah. <laughs> okay. Take care. Bye. So sunny right now, it's like 70 degrees Fahrenheit, that's like 23 Celsius, I think. So sunny, can you believe this is winter? Like, I'm just like, wow, like, I can be wearing shorts right now. It gets a little bit cold, at, like really early in the morning and, you know, really late at night. But in general, it's kind of nice. The weather is really nice. Um, and then like there are a lot of tourists right now and you can I can see why like the food is kind of nice and you know the weather is amazing for winter not in the summer in the summer it's so rainy most of the time or like you know not all day but yeah okay take care bye